There's a number of applications we can use our wax sticks, and that include any type of flooring, pre-finished furniture, filling nail holes and cracks, and even filling miters on picture frames. There's a number of colours available to suit your need. Wax sticks are 100% synthetic waxes, and they don't contain any beeswax. Now what that means to you is, whatever coating you apply to it, it'll stick to it. Now there are a couple of ways you can apply your wax sticks, so stick around and I'll show you how. The first method I'm doing here is I'm just rubbing it in. Now when you do that, just rub across the scratch and just make sure you force it all the way to the bottom of the groove. It's a good tip here just before you start is you just warm up the stick a little bit just by rubbing it in your hands. So just rub across the scratch here with the stick, take your time. And the beauty of this, as I mentioned earlier, it's fully synthetic so I can apply any coating to this that I need to. And another tip is it's going to give you a matte finish. So if you're looking for a gloss finish, then you can just apply a gloss coating and that could even be just some clear nail polish. So just rub it across here. And then take a plastic scraper. It's important to use a plastic scraper here. If you use a metal one, you might fix this scratch all right, but then you're gonna put another scratch with your metal scraper and you're gonna to have to fix that one as well. Just scrape off the excess. And just buff the surface with a rag here. Now that looks a lot better. I've got another scratch here in the board and you'll notice it's in a darker section. There's some darker grain here. So I'm just gonna use a darker stick for this application. And the method I'm gonna show you here is just using a little battery operated soldering iron. Now what you do is melt the wax stick here and just let it drip in just let it drip into the groove, and work your way along. Now the beauty of these little battery operated tools here, they apply enough heat to melt the wax, but not too much heat to burn your board. So just push it in to the groove, just a little bit more there. Just work your way along. Just take your time, no rush here. You can just let that dry. When you watch it dry, you'll see it start to dry off. So you don't want to wait too long here, but once it's, you see the surface dry, take your plastic scraper again, not the metal one, and just, there's a little bit, still a little bit wet there. The issue is here, if you wait too long, you're only just going to drag the wax back out of the scratch. You'll have to start again. So that looks nice and dry. And just take your plastic scraper and just cut across the surface. If you move, use more of a slicing type of action, taking the excess off the top, and leaving the wax in the scratch. Just get your rag, buff that up. Only you'll know where that scratch was. All right, the final method I wanna show you here is we're gonna use an electric soldering iron or you could use a butane torch. But what you've gotta be careful here, because of the added heat, you must keep the heat away from the board. Now I've got a scratch here in the contrasting grain. Now the way to solve that is I'm going to use two contrasting colours of wax sticks. I'm just going to drop the wax into that uh, scratch there. Let's have a look. So I'm just melting, melting the wax with the contrasting colours and it's giving me that grain effect. Now you notice I'm keeping it up away from the board. I don't want any heat to damage my board here. So once again, just let that dry. You'll, you'll notice the surface, it starts to dry. And then again, with your plastic scraper, it's very important to use a plastic scraper here. You can just scrape that excess off the top. It's starting to dry now. And with a slicing action, just cut that excess off the top. Just a bit of a buff with the rag. There you go, you've got contrasting grain from two different color wax sticks. Pretty good, isn't it? Now, as I mentioned before, these wax sticks are fully synthetic, so I can apply any coating to it, unlike any other stick. The other benefit with wax sticks, you won't get the white halo effect or the white ring around it as you do with a beeswax stick.